Hey, how's it going? My name is Joe, and this is my wife, Nigel. And welcome to the Grappling for Couples Experience. Um, all right, so today we are in the car, and we were listening to the radio, and basically the discussion was, should couples have access to each other's passcodes to your cell phone? Um, so, of course, this sparks up our discussion, so we wanted to share our discussion and perspective with you all. So, um, babe. Uh, so, I guess I'm first. <clears throat> um, my thought is, I think I have two perspectives. Um, one, I don't think if you're married to someone, or if you're not married, I don't think you really have to show them what's going on in your phone. Um, they may want to know or see what it is that you have going on in your phone for whatever reason, for trust reasons or anything like that. But at the end of the day, um, when you're not, if you're not in that type of marriage status, I don't believe you have to do that at all. Um, however, when you're in a relationship or you are married or you're moving to that direction, anything once the relationship is established, um, it's important for them to be able to have access to your phone. Does that mean they have to have your password? That doesn't mean they have to have your password. Um, I think they can ask you if they want to see what's on your phone and you should be comfortable letting them just look through your phone whenever they ask you without it being a problem. Um, but do they need to necessarily have your password? No, I, I don't think so. Now, on the contrary, I guess or against that, well, like when it comes to my, my personal relationship, um, I allow Nigel to have everything to my phone. She has a password. She she can get in whenever she wants to. Yes. Uh, when we had the sevens, I had the... Thumbprint. She's always had like the my 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 info, so it doesn't bother, it doesn't bother me. Um, and that was since we started dating, actually. Before was it before we were no. dating? No, like when we were dating, I had your code, but it wasn't like a oh let me get your code to your phone. It was like I needed to use your phone. She it was kind of like yeah. oh this and is I had my no code. Problem giving her the code and the so password. it was kind of like oh I'm cool with you giving somebody a code is like being saying like oh I'm cool with you being in my phone. But it don't mean you should. I don't think it means you should snoop. Like. <clears throat> I don't think that having a person's passcode gives you the permission to constantly be on their phone and check their phone. Because then now that's a trust thing, you know, and that's a conversation that needs to be had. Like, if you have a concern, that's something you should be able to communicate. I know people probably be looking to, like, you know, get somebody. Um, and then one thing my mom always says, like, if you go looking for trouble, you're going to find trouble. Like, if you're trying to, if you dig it you're going to find trouble because that's what your focus is on. And even if it's not finding out about infidelity or, you know, anything like that, it could just be maybe it's a conversation that somebody's that's personal or private that they're having or maybe from your perspective they share something or are talking about your relationship. Like, you could just find something that could be something you don't expect that could cause a rift in your relationship. When really, when you do that and find out, you violate your partner's trust. So I think, like, just communicating and, like, saying, like, you know, what's good or if you have a concern about something. Just talking. Asking. Um, asking. Asking. You know. Um, our, with us, we're really big when it comes to our communication. So um, she can typically, or, or basically, she can ask me whatever she wants to. And I can ask her whatever I want. And we're, we'll be honest regardless of what the answer is. So we have no reason to not, or we have no reason to not have a have each other's passwords and to not feel like we can have them um we still choose to of course because we that's just us because there's nothing we're, we're still one we look at it as we are one so we all have we, we both have basically the same friends um but we do have our own groups of friends still of course but uh with us personally like we're, we're open we give all of our information out it doesn't matter uh but i guess that's kind of my opinion when it comes to if you, yeah. if you have to. But I, I do know that when you're not in a relationship with someone or you're not at that level, you don't have to. Like, my thing used to be before Nyjah that if you don't pay my bill, then you're not looking at my phone. Like, I was I was very, very strict with that rule. But I was also like that because I knew that I didn't want anyone looking at my phone because they would have been <laughs> mad anyway. So I was like, why well, give y'all a reason to be mad if I know you'll right. be mad? So if you don't pay that bill, you're not going to look at the phone. But right. once I knew that. But like, now we're on the same bill. Correct. So. Now we're on the same bill. We share the same account. Everything's the same now. Bone of, what is it? Bone of a bone? So now now we're able to, we, we, we share that information. But beforehand, it wasn't, I wasn't like that where I was I was openly sharing it. So I'm not going to pretend like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm not going to just give all the perfect type of answers. Like, no. In the beginning, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let anyone have my password to my phone. Um, but now, uh, if you really have nothing to hide, then it just helps your partner trust you. 
with that that un that that un what is it called unquestionable trust yeah unquestionable trust so so yeah so yeah. tell us what you think what's what's your feedback um about sharing your passcode or your spouse having access to um you know your personal information whether that's your phone or even like email so um so yeah so this is the first um episode for grappling for couples and so much more to come we're, yes. we're, we've been we're slowly gonna start like dribbling some things out for people to see um it'll be exciting and it's gonna attract different types of attention so you'll you'll enjoy it um it will be some fitness involved um some couple stuff some couple stuff it's stuff we be, like to do yeah so yeah so combos you know like experiences this. yeah but uh, you all have a wonderful day um and we we can't wait to hear the kind of comments that you have talk to you later